if I if I had an MD on my name, I'd go ahead and answer that question <laughs> thoroughly, but I don't. Uh, I'm going to refer uh, that line of questioning to page uh, five and six okay. in the, uh, the return to school uh, handbook. There is a section that says uh, that in this book, employee and student safety, student protocol and screening overview. It's on page five, uh, six and seven actually. Okay. And in the uh, When Parish Return to School booklet, and in that um, in that that section, there are several bullets that uh, it's important. And then there is a place that says symptoms that may require a student to stay home and or leave school, and how uh, how many days and how much time after fever and all that kind of stuff. And in order and to keep me from being uh, someone who really shows my ineptness about the medical world. Uh, I'm just going to allow the parents to read that and communicate with their schools. Uh, we don't want someone coming to school too quickly after an illness, and there are days or hours associated with the last fever record, a fever of 100.4 uh, or greater, and how many hours has it been? All that. I'm not. I don't feel comfortable getting into that. That, but it's written in this book, and, okay. and we have. If it's not what your question, your parents' question might specifically be, please contact uh, someone where we can research that specifically and get that answer for you. Okay. But uh, we don't want our kids and students are sick at school, and uh, the same the same advice would apply to those who have been identified with a COVID illness. Mm -hmm. How long shall they be out of school? Shall they? You know, how long will they be in isolation? Uh, to keep from me from specifically showing my ignorance sometimes, th this book covers those that period of time. Okay. And let me say this, uh, all the doctors and the medical professionals, the people, that, the science of the COVID, they tell us that we will have in our school system, we will have in our classes, COVID positive mm -hmm. children. But it does not mean, this is the words of these medical professionals, it does not mean that the COVID disease is the focal point of that school and that it's totally COVID focused. It's, that is not correct. And that doesn't mean that just because a person at a school or maybe a person mm -hmm. at a school is enough to shut a whole school down. Like but there, there, there are things that must take place. Like if a child is in a class and he is detected as positive COVID, then certainly everyone that that child had close contact with, and that close contact is a very important term, close contact with, the parents will be no, no, uh, notified and instruction will be given to those parents about what they, their next steps are. Okay. So. We've been given a lot of training along those lines, and uh, we have access to uh, many doctors and professionals that tell us how we should handle this or which direction we should go and so forth and so on. So uh, everything that we do would be with the student's best interest in mind, best health interest in mind, and the parents also. So uh, uh, if you have a question, uh, call us and let us know. Okay. And, uh, We'll work with you along those lines.